order to use the pool spaces, you do have to have the wristband to say you're a hotel guest, uh, which today at least is yellow. Uh, but I did request to go back and check out the area and the guy was nice enough to give me a restaurant wristband so it doesn't give me all access but at least I can go and we can look and see the big guitar from the best viewing area. This is probably the best pool. This is the one at the base of the Guitar Hotel. It has all of the cabana areas, umbrellas, and this thing provides a lot of good shade in the afternoon. There's a waterfall and the view. I mean, it's all about the view. One thing that's nice about this pool area, I'm noticing that there's a lot of umbrellas. So you do have a really good opportunity to get some shade, even if you don't get a cabana. And uniquely, uh, for South Florida, there is a hot tub. And I don't know, maybe you would use that from like November to February. <laughs> On the Guitar Hotel side, there's actually a lagoon. Look, there are people kayaking back there. <laughs> it has this beachy area, so you've got sand, and even this nice pathway so you don't have to walk on the hot sand. And a zero entry, which of course I guess in a lagoon one would have. And if you go to the back side of the lagoon, that's supposedly where you have the best viewing for the Guitar Hotel itself. There is a slide at the pool. You must be this tall to ride the slide. I love it's a 48 inch guitar. So you go up the stairs, come down the chute. You can reserve these cabanas. I'll see if I can find out how much they are. Uh, but those would be a really great way to escape the heat and have some privacy. Let's see what's inside a cabana here. We've got two lounge chairs, we've got a high top. Ooh, lots of fans to keep you cool. It's like a tiki hut. See, we've got chairs, probably a fridge. It might be locked, let's see. Oh no, there we go. So we've got a mini fridge to keep your stuff, power outlet, you can even bring your USB cord. So that's really handy. And then a shady place to hang out and watch people at the pool. The Guitar Hotel expansion uh, finished in October 2019, so it opened just in time for the February 2020 Super Bowl, which was held here in Miami. Um, this expansion was $1.5 billion. You heard me, billion with a B. And so you have now over 600 luxury rooms and suites, and they cost uh, anywhere from $529 per night to stay here. However, if you are AAA or military or Florida or Georgia resident, it says currently you can get a room from 476 per night. So a little way to get a discount. Oh my gosh, this really is like a mall. They have a map that includes all of the shops and restaurants and entertainment. I feel like I really am at Mall of Millennia. And on this map, it, there's just so much going on. I think like this is the whole casino area. And then um, that might be where they have concerts. And then the giant in the sky hotel goes over this area. Um, Cause there's that big four acre pool. And then I noticed that this is like a pet. Look, there's like a little pet symbol right there. So I guess there's like a dog walk. And um, that's where we parked the Lucky Street Garage. As soon as you walk in from the garage, you walk through this space that looks like a mall. I feel like I'm at the Mall of Millennia almost. High-end stores, really just fancy people walking around. I think there's the poker room right there. So my guess is that the casino area is behind all of these shops. But if you're looking for activities for everyone, I mean, shopping is definitely available here. Not gonna lie, this one confuses me a little. Amigos, can you figure out what that is? Well, I think that's a mouth and a nose and maybe some gold teeth. And it turns out 
This must be from the Post Malone tour. So yeah, there you have it. There are lots of places to get merch throughout the casino and hotel areas. And this one in particular is at the Hard Rock Cafe. I love this shirt. Look at that. It's ladies. Uh, it's very patriotic. And it says you're at the Hollywood, Florida location. Let's see, $40. And it's really soft. And I like that it's white. White is always good for Florida. And of course, we have our Pride merch. It is the month of June, so we're seeing a lot of that. Um, nice tie-dye tee here, $30. Here's one for $35 if you're like business in the front, party in the back. The thing I like about this one is it has the guitar silhouette, which is really reminiscent of the giant guitar silhouette in the sky. Interesting fact, there is a dress code in the casino and you're not allowed to wear hoods over your head like these mannequins unless you're in the poker room. I guess so you can have your p -p -p poker face. I inquired. I said, where is the best place to get dessert? And I was told to come to the Constant Grind which is under the Guitar Hotel and is known for their chocolates and their gelato. And right here, this is actually a chocolate sculpture. This whole thing is made of chocolate. I chose two of the bonbons. We have a passion fruit caramel and an apricot peanut. And I think I got them. I mean, they sound delicious, but they also look really pretty. And I wanted to just bite into something really pretty. So let's see how these actually taste. First is the apricot peanut. Ooh. It's like a chocolate shell. Can pull it out. And it has like a paste. Not like a paste, but... Yeah, I guess apricot peanut. I, I taste the apricot and then I taste the peanut. Interesting. Alright, now we have the passion fruit caramel. Ooh. Oh, that's good. It kind of broke apart. You can see it has like a caramel consistency. Oh, but that sweetness of the passion fruit kind of makes like you know your mouth tingle when you know, that tartness. I'm sorry, Remy. I think I'm gonna finish this one. <laughs> Next, we have the berry cheesecake. So it is a strip of cheesecake on a graham crumb or a graham crust, and it has like a mousse that goes down and some fresh berries and. I think it just looks so pretty, <laughs> so I'm going to be honest, I chose it because it was the prettiest dessert. Mm. Like all of my senses are getting involved here. It's light and fluffy, it tastes like cheesecake, but it does have a very blueberry, like a little tartness to it, which is quite excellent. Um, I'm using the, oh, you, I'm just staring. I'm using the, I didn't quite get into the gram yet. Um, okay, I've got my penny, my lucky penny. Let's toss it in. Woohoo! Let's go in some money. Wow, this space is like state of the art well decorated they even have the signature hard rock items Ooh, jennifer lopez wore this dress i guess you can learn about the entertainers you can gamble on the slots lots and lots and lots of slots the temperature in here is nice and comfortable and cool 
and the lights are like nicely dimmed. The music has this um, real chill vibe, like the beats per minute, uh, just makes you feel relaxed. So I'm sure all of these things are designed to keep you playing, keep you excited. Um, Hopefully you win a little bit every once in a while. Uh, and there's like movies, games based on movies, um, cartoons, uh, like literally something for everyone. Just be careful you don't blow all your money. And all of these are like automated. Like this is touchscreen, which is really cool. And to keep you here even longer, they even have a USB charger. That's crazy. So like I could charge my phone and like continue to film for you guys as I blow all my money on the slots. When you're done playing, uh, you can cash out at one of these cash centers, which is really nice because it's automated. You don't have to wait in line. Um, you put your voucher in that you get from your game, and then they give you cash, except they don't give you change. So I got my dollars, uh, my US dollars, and then I got this voucher for 50 cents. So I guess I'm gonna go hit the slots and spend this. All right, I found a machine. I'm gonna try this. So I'm gonna insert my ticket. Whoops. And I get to select, let's do five cents. Sure, I don't know what I'm doing. I'm just gonna hit play. Nothing happened. Oh, play 50 credits, play, play. Nothing's happening. I apparently don't know how to play slots. All right, won a little bit of money. So now I'm gonna leave the casino area back through this fountain, which has been a wayfinding tool for me all day. I ask people where to go and they say, remember that big fountain? That's very loud. But it's right under the giant guitar. And we've left the casino over there. And stay with me here. 